Well, today I find myself uh, pursuing Indian ruins. I'm on my way to the Hanunki Indian ruins. And at some point in time, I'm going to take the, the road less traveled or more traveled up to the Palatki Indian ruins. This particular one does not require a tour. And at this point in time, I'm about four miles away, just off of the Boynton Pass Road. Beautiful scenic drive, and the uh, road itself doesn't seem to be too difficult. I imagine uh, a high clearance vehicle might have been a little bit better than my old van here, but so far no real problems. Well, as you can tell, here I am at the Hanaki Ruins. And uh, I was just informed by the Hanaki host here, the gentleman that's right at the trailhead with a lot of information that there are archaeologists here and uh, quite a few ravens nests so who knows this will end up being uh, a trip that uh, lives up to all of the promises and expectations look at that beautiful valley so this is a little dirt trail on the way to the ruins this is the uh, so-called legacy of the Sanagua closer now to my destination. around so I'll try not to interfere too terribly much with what they're doing. Very nice. Quite livable. Very, very nice gentleman who does uh, photographic work out here has just told me that uh, some of the petroglyphs have actually been essentially, and to use his term, catastrophically affected by people who were uh, essentially doing graffiti. And they know the exact day on which uh, some of the uh, ancient petroglyphs that apparently represent layers and layers of uh, civilizations going back 4,000 years or so, they know the ex exact day on which. Uh, some Yehu uh, decided to go ahead and leave his own markings. Uh, about a year and a half ago, apparently one of these was sadly affected. So uh, now I understand. I asked the question, do they have maybe some hidden webcams out here and looking at things remotely? And I understand that that's the case. So more power to them. Get 
some of these really interesting petroglyphs. it also to the ruins. Really good day to come here actually. Not a whole lot of uh, people act making visits to the site. And, uh, those in the know are leading uh, little excursions, tour guides, and uh, I'm picking up and osmosing as much information as I can. Here's another shot. Fortunately this uh, item, been around apparently for a couple of thousand years, has been thus far untouched by those who lack reverence and respect for the indigenous peoples who lived here. It's quite a habitable environment. I imagine it gets a little cold and a little hot, but with all of the overhangs and the fact that there's quite a bit of protection here, I think it could be a most livable environment. This is a broad departure view of where the Hananke Indians lived. <laughs> 